Welcome back to Quilting Mathematics. This happens to be quilt number 19 in a series of 22. It is called Spiraling Spidrons. It's a very large quilt. And uh, the idea behind the quilt came from a friend of mine named Dan Ederly. Uh, Ederly is a Hungarian industrial designer. In the early 70s, he was doing some work with hexagons. And the interesting thing about this quilt is that once we take the hexagons and divide it up into six equal areas, it can be divided up into equilateral triangles, as we know, but it also can be uh, divided up into what are called spin rods. And the spin rods all fit together, uh, nicely six of them, to uh, cover the entire hexagon. This happens to be a sample of what a spin round looks like. And it has really wonderful 30, 60, 90 degree properties. So in here we have a nice triangle. It's 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then on the side of that we have another triangle. It's an equilateral triangle. And then on the side of that we also have another 30, 60, 90. And then another 30, 60, 90, etc., etc. And it continues to rotate on around. So those of you teachers that are doing some work in geometry with 30, 60, 90 degree triangles and um, also equilateral triangles will find the spin round very, very interesting. Uh, the, the quilt itself is actually applique. Most people would think that it's pieced, but I find for me um, my applique is much more accurate. And so the hexagons happen to cover the surface entirely here, but they span from beautiful blue to beautiful gold. In uh, accenting here, we have all the different spin rods spiraling on around to make a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Uh, I hope you, that you've enjoyed this tour of this particular quilt, and I encourage you to do some spin rods in your classroom, have some fun with them, and welcome you back to our next quilt in the series. Have a great day.